Big Ounce is dying? It needs a 10 foot python. It's invasive and I'm allowed to do this legally. So forward. You can see here is one of its skins. Integrity. The walls are actually pee. That's python urine. Beautiful. We're gonna start putting them on creatine real soon. Just even get them. Oh! Got ourselves a little bit of smoothie. Whoa, is that another Burmese python? Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the Urban Rescue Ranch. This is my son, name of Big Al. This is my new poop bucket for my capybaras. Take a look at this. This is where they drink their water and poop. I got a big one. What do you think about that, Poggers? Here, have this. The little one was way too small. They were filling it up with poop way too fast. Oh, come on. Don't be shy, son. Come on in. <laughs> come on in. Don't be shy. This is where their poop goes. Oh, right there. Take a look at that. Now, that takes at least a day to fill up now. The clappy blappies are much bigger, so I give them a lot more food nowadays. They still sit in the same place doing the same thing. What's this doing in here? What is this little fuzzy? Get out of here, Big Ounce. But like I said, you guys, Big Ounce is dying of starvation, and we need to get him Something new to eat or else he's gonna die. Again! So we need to go out and get him a Burmese python. Some kind of invasive snake. At least that seems to be what all the other Florida YouTubers are doing. They're getting invasive snakes to feed their other animals. <laughs> We're gonna do it today! We got a real bad invasive snake problem here in Waco. I'm not lying to you. Why would I lie to you? Why would I lie to you? On the internet? Nobody lies on the internet. Big Ounce really needs to eat an invasive snake. But today we're gonna go into the sewers of Waco where a lot of the homeless people live and we're gonna look for these invasive snakes because I know that people release them down there. But don't just listen to me talk about it. <laughs> Let's go! The fog is coming. The fog is coming. The fog is coming. The fog is coming. If we don't give Big Ounce at least a 10-foot snake today, he's going to die. Just look at him guys he's starving he's starving he needs a he needs a 10 foot python at least we need to get him a 10 foot python let's go Fat man. whoa is that hit rapper and artist a baby sir would you like to come into the tunnels with us and get some invasive snake hey it's me the baby let's go <laughs> Just beautiful kidding. beautiful boy this is how big the baby is for reference now as you can see he's got quite a nasty kick you can take a look here he might just even get him oh perfect the baby driving the bus for today <laughs> All right, we're here downtown Waco, Texas. This is the one building we have, and these are the sewers. All right, guys, we're here in downtown Waco. A lot of people are releasing Burmese pythons right here in these creek systems, as you can see. Okay, as you guys can see, a lot of homeless people live in these caves, but it's a great place to find invasive pythons. But all through these creeks, there's all kinds of adorable little snakes that we can find, and all kinds of trash left by the urban nomads. Oh, well, as you can see here, this is clear python sign, guys. Like textbook. Burmese python as you can see this here is a receipt for a Burmese python from a reptile shop uh, oh take a look at this that's python scat right there you see that textbook python scat okay guys come on let's go <laughs> that python away yeah right there as you can see that's very clear textbook python sign I believe this is a shed of some sort as you can see here the walls are actually peeing this is a natural spring that comes up through the walls of this nasty urban cave right in here i think is where the majority of the pythons live you guys they like to go in these little holes here and then they like to hang out in these little areas Ooh, right here is an obvious python sign this is a snake skin this is probably about a, a young one probably a hatchling so there's definitely a mother with eggs whoa is that a burmese python what is up you guys whoa i can't believe it we totally just found a Burmese python right here in this cave. As you can see, here is one of its skins. This is actually how we found it. As you guys can see, this cave system is perfect for it because it's got fresh water coming out of the walls of the natural springs. This cave has been here since the beginning of Waco itself. See, they love to hang out in these caves with the little cracks in the rocks here. Never mind our humane society right over here. Pythons are a real problem here in Waco, Texas. They're invasive and they're eating all of our rats in the city. This isn't staged at all whatsoever. We have integrity. We're not like every Florida YouTuber ever. But there it is, you guys, a wild Burmese python right here in Waco, Texas. Can you believe it? Well, this is invasive, so we need to get this thing out of here. Sure hope we have enough reception to call our reptile expert, Sean. Yeah, guys, as you can see, this is textbook sign of python. Take a look at this. You see this little water here? That's python urine. I can't believe it at all, you guys. A Burmese python here in Waco, Texas. Why would I lie to you about this? Why would I lie? On the internet? People lie? On the internet? Yep. Take a look at how beautiful this snake is, you guys. Look at how beautiful it is with the distinct patterns. It's 100% a Burmese python. And this is not staged at all. Never mind our Humane Society rep over here making sure that we're not doing anything wrong. All right, guys. Today I'm going to show you how to catch a wild-caught Burmese python.
an invasive one so we can feed it to big animals. I'm not lying about this. Why would I lie about this? We are not like everyone. Is this a python that's really friendly and not putting up any kind of a struggle at all whatsoever? integrity but this is the burmese python you guys it is one of the top five largest snakes in the world they are non-venomous look at this bottle, bottle cap. cap there the average length of a full-grown one is about 12 feet but they have been known to get as long as 23 feet and a 20 foot one was recently caught in florida these beautiful little boys can live to be up to 28 years old and they kill their prey by suffocating them by constricting them with their muscles and because these things are such effective hunters in the last 10 years they've eliminated 90 percent of the small to medium-sized mammals in the everglades and there's no way these things could survive a texas winter so they are legal to own here but they're not legal to own in florida because they are thriving there all right you guys we're gonna go ahead and take this thing we're gonna go call my reptile buddy we're gonna make sure we have the right permits to get him out of here and keep him safe i'm gonna be calling my buddy sean from yox2 reptiles in waco he's an expert here he has all the stuff you need whoa there he is <laughs> what we got here a burmese python whoa a burmese python here in waco texas oh oh he's biting me what's it doing here in waco someone must have released it it's definitely it must be invasive what an amazing Response time, Sean. But realistically, you guys, these things are impossible to find during the day or actually just out and about. You have to find them on the roads when they're crossing the street. If you see a video of someone finding a python during the day, there's a 98% chance that it's staged and fake. Their excellent camouflage and prolific breeding make them nearly impossible to find in any other context. And this is why they will never truly be removed from Florida. Sean's a reptile expert here. He's been working with these snakes for years. He's gonna go ahead and put it in a safe little enclosure and we're gonna bring it back to his shop where we can take care of it and make sure it stays out of the wild. In Florida, it's illegal to have these in your possession without a permit, so even YouTubers staging videos with them is illegal. <laughs> but this is Texas! We're just gonna go ahead and put them right here in this pet carrier here. We're gonna take it right back to Sean's place where he has the permits and all the resources necessary to keep him healthy and alive. We all good. Oh, what luck that Sean was here in this exact cave at the exact time that we needed him to be here. It's me, the baby! <laughs> Let's go! All right, guys, Brandon and I are going to go ahead and do a catch and cook. We got the snake right here, and we got all the stuff that was just already here in the cave. Whoa, stranger things. Wow, guys, can you believe it? A Burmese python right here in Waco, Texas. Bit me a little bit there. Bit me a little bite there. Beyond on YouTube. Coming out here, our Humane Society rep. He's going to go back to Austin now where his headquarters is. Thanks so much for coming out. Of course. Thanks, yes, sir. Thanks for taking those Thank good you. notes. Thank you for being careful with Make, this. Making sure that we're taking good care of these animals. Wow, guys, a Burmese python in Waco, Texas. All right, guys, we're at the post office now i'm gonna pick up some of your fan mail a uh, shout out to tyler nolan here whoa is that another burmese python what they're everywhere in waco i would not lie about this to you on the internet people lying on the internet is this a wild burmese python <laughs> <laughs> wow a burmese python right here in the waco texas post office hey chip and joanna Gaines, how's about you give me some money give us money chip and joanna Gaines. all right guys this is definitely not the same one that we found in the cave he's a lot more aggressive and youtubers in florida definitely don't share their pythons for clickbait videos we're just gonna go ahead and put them in here in the set. Oh, this is a different kennel, I promise. Different kennel, you guys. Oh. All right, Sean, thanks so much for coming out. We went to Smoothie King. We got ourselves a little bit of smoothie. Whoa, is that another Burmese python right here in front of the Smoothie King? Oh, guys, three Burmese pythons in one day. We have a serious problem here in Waco with the invasive Burmese python. Well, Sean, you and I need to do something about this terrible invasive snake problem here in Waco, Texas. What should we do with it? I think we should get him to a wonderful home. We're He'll be happy and healthy for the rest of his life. And feed him to Big Al. Sure hope he doesn't bite me right there. Well, he just <laughs> went over there and ate one of those grackles. He's going for him. This is my son, Kevin. I was you give him a little bit of food. See, isn't he nice? Very friendly. God's wonderful creatures right here. Beautiful little adorable baby boy. See, they share the food and they don't even fight. Isn't he sweet? Isn't he oh, cute? He's just an adorable little baby boy. It's my son. This is why they call him red kangaroos. You see the little red patch on his neck there? Yeah, beautiful little baby boy. Look how big he is now. Da baby, post it up. Oh, da baby. <laughs> so forward. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> a little update, you guys. This is how big da baby is now. They're crepuscular, so they're really active in the mornings. This is when he likes to fight you. He doesn't really fight me at night anymore. This is the only thing that can hurt me is his little claws here. They're really sharp and he's strong. It's really the only things that can hurt me. So as long as I hold his claws and do a little dance with him, we're, we're fine. Pretty soon this little man's gonna be big enough to fight Jake Paul and he's gonna be very, very strong. I want these arms to be double this size. We're gonna start putting them on creatine real soon. This is the baby on creatine? Good morning, Karen. Look how big Soldier Boy's getting. Look at him, he's the spitting image of Karen and Kevin. All right, big ounce, you ready to eat? Okay, am I rescue this and get it to a new home? I mean, feed it to my capybara. It's invasive and I'm allowed to do this legally. Okay, he ate the snake whole. We're gonna wash it down with this little apple. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. 
appreciate you. I love you. Appreciate you. We'll see you. Oh, I almost forgot to tell. Also, go check out Sean's channel in the description. He's got all these adorable little baby boys. And they also do a lot of educational programs for the inner city schools in Waco. Danger noodles. These are ball pythons? Yes, sir. Wow. And don't forget to like the video and leave a pog.